right now at noon. A suspect is dead after a police chase ends in a crash in northwest Miami-Dade. The driver ending up slamming into a tree, and local 10 News reporter Leanne Motohong is live at the scene. And I know you uh, spoke to somebody who knows this suspect and cannot believe what happened here. Yeah, they're just not ready to even accept that explanation. According to police, the man behind the wheel had allegedly tried taking a woman's purse out of her car, then sped away from police. They say he continued to drive at a high rate of speed even after police stopped pursuing, and that is what led to the crash. But if you talk to these people who say that their loved one was the person behind the wheel, they say they want more proof and are not ready to take the police's word for it. You can still see the damage left behind after Thursday's violent crash. It happened around 6 p.m. along Northwest 58th Street near 15th Avenue. They were not trying to tell us anything at all, at all. This woman says the man inside the vehicle was her mother's boyfriend. And while she declined to release his name or publicly identify herself, she says she found her loved one's wallet at the crash site. It was just sitting plain on the ground, and we found it as soon as we walked up. They didn't try to find it at all. According to Miami-Dade police, the man inside the car was someone they suspected as a thief. A woman was robbed of her purse earlier in the evening at a Chevron near Northwest 30th Avenue and 58th Street. There was a struggle that ensued between the victim and the subject. Police say witnesses pointed out the suspect car to officers who began to pursue the vehicle. But they say they eventually stopped for safety reasons and the man crashed into a tree shortly after. Fire rescue had to cut the roof off the car to pull the driver out. He later died at the hospital. We have our traffic homicide unit out here. But loved ones say they're confused by the circumstances surrounding the crash and believe police were chasing the wrong man. If they said they stopped pursuit, why is the back of the car damaged? The narrative that they're trying to paint on this man is not true. He is a stand-up man. And there was a group of loved ones that were out here taking a good look at the area right around that tree. They were also actually going around to neighbors' houses looking for surveillance video as well. We tried to do the same. We're still working on it. We can tell you that according to Miami-Dade police, they say that this driver actually struck two other vehicles before striking this tree. We're still working to get his identity. For now reporting in Northwest Miami-Dade, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.